माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया इज कॉल्ड एज द पावर हाउस ऑफ द सेल जिस तरह से किसी भी स्ट्रक्चर uh, को फंक्शन करने के लिए किसी मशीन को फंक्शन करने के लिए एनर्जी की जरूरत होती है इसी तरह से सेल को फंक्शन करने के लिए भी एनर्जी रिक्वायर्ड है एंड दैट एनर्जी इज प्रोवाइडेड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एटीपीज अब इन एटीपीज की सिंथेसिस के लिए जो ऑर्गेनाली फंक्शन कर रहा है दैट ऑर्गेनाली इज कॉल्ड एज माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया तो इट इज द नेम द वर्ड माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया इज मेड अप ऑफ टू कम्पोनेंट माइटो विच मीन द थ्रेड एंड कॉन्ड्रियॉन विच इज लाइक ग्रेन्यूल लाइक स्ट्रक्चर so it is a thread and granular structure um which was first observed by the richard altman in 1895 and it was given uh, this name mitochondria by the call benada in 1898 so here we can see uh, that uh, this golgi uh, sorry um, the mitochondria is uh, just like a thread a small oval like structure which contains different granules So the morphology of mitochondria is the size is really small it is from uh, 0.05 till 1 micrometer that is the size and the length of uh, the mitochondria is from 1 to 10 micrometer long uh, mostly uh, these mitochondria they are uh, oval shaped they are bean shaped and uh, they are uh, have a fibroblast uh, which is an elongated and thread like structure so both uh, oval um the bean shape and thread like mitochondria are have been observed in different cells um the number of mitochondria it depends upon the type of the tissue and then um it depends upon the size and the functional state of the cell uh, jitni zyada us cell ko uh, uh, apni functions perform karne ke liye energy ki zarurat hogi utne zyada wahan pe mitochondria honge और इट डिपेंड्स के उनका कितना जो है वो साइज है और ये सब के सब जो है वो सेल की परफॉर्मेंस पर डिपेंड करता है फॉर एग्जांपल द सेल इन द मसल दे नीड मोर एनर्जी टू परफॉर्म द मस्कुलर कंट्रैक्शंस सो द नंबर ऑफ माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया इज मच हायर इन मसल्स एज कंपेयर टू अदर टिश्यूज इन द बॉडी अनदर एग्जाम्पल इज द लिवर बिकॉज लिवर इज ऑल्सो परफॉर्मिंग मल्टीपल फंक्शन सो दे नीड अ लॉट ऑफ एनर्जी Uh, an average liver cell it contains about 1500 mitochondria in one cell structure of mitochondria it contains it is a membranous structure and uh, this it contains actually double membranes so there is one outer membrane and this outer membrane is smooth then there is an in uh, inner membrane which is this this structure so this is an inner membrane between the outer membrane and inner membrane there is a space the red structure that is the space and this space is called as intermembrane space peri mitochondrial space and then there is a folding of uh, inner membrane so these uh, foldings they are called as cristi so these folds from inside uh, is may a pleated field hai, and that pleated is called as matrix so there are five components of mitochondria outer membrane inner intermembrane space inner membrane cristi and matrix we will study this with the help of this video the outer membrane is smooth and covers the organelle The inner membrane folds over many times and creates layered structures called cristae. Most of the chemical reactions of the cellular respiration process happens in the inner membrane of the mitochondria due to the high concentration of enzymes. The fluid contained in the mitochondria is called the matrix. Mitochondria are independent organelles. They have their own DNA and ribosomes. So now we um, study these uh, components, structural components of mitochondria one by one. um the outermost component is the outer membrane and this outer membrane it is um uh, very simple and it's just like the plasma membranes and it contains the phospholipid bilayer um just like a standard um plasma membrane so um but 
what is the difference between other plasma membrane and the outer membrane of mitochondria is that mitochondrial outer membrane mein a uh, special type of protein hai which is called as porins and these structures are uh, present in abundance in outer membrane porins ki maujoodgi mein uh, this membrane it becomes uh, highly permeable so it there is there is no uh, check and balance on transport of material across the outer membrane of mitochondria so there is an easy transport of ions and different nutrients different molecules atps adps um they can easily uh, can be exchanged through this outer membrane so this membrane is permeable inner membrane is selectively permeable membrane aur ye sirf aur sirf chand ek aise compounds hai ya nutrients hai jinki movement ko allow karti hai which for example the oxygen carbon dioxide and water um can be exchanged through uh, the inner membrane of mitochondria uh they contain uh, certain proteins uh, or ye proteins uh, responsible hai to perform the different redox reactions which means oxidation reduction reactions and these oxidation reduction reactions are involved in aerobic cellular respiration uh, for example uh, the krebs cycle aur uh, iske ilawa iska jo dusra function hai that is transport of protein across the inner membrane exchange of different anions between the cytosol and uh, the inner mitochondria in inner intermembrane um, space ya peri uh, mitochondrial space that is present between the outer membrane and inner membrane of mitochondria or uh, uh, this uh, the, the fluid which is uh, this space actually it contains the high concentration of protons aur iski reason jo hai wo ye hai ki because the outer membrane is very much permeable it is allowing a different components different compounds to pass through it so uh, that is one reason ke protons ki concentration jo hai wo is membrane space mein bahut zyada high hai aur uh, wo sara material jo ke is inter membrane space mein maujood hai this is very much similar to cytoplasm in its composition because the outer membrane is highly permeable so cytoplasm he actually is inter membrane space mein maujood hota hai aur ki composition jo hoti that is very much uh, similar because there is no check and balance between um on the transport of materials between cytoplasm and uh, the outer membrane of mitochondria cristi is the other component um which are actually the folds of inner membrane of mitochondria aur uh, is ki jo folding ka jo major purpose hai that is to expand the surface area of inner membrane of mitochondria because we know ke mitochondria actually cellular respiration mein involve hai isme is is jiski product jo hai that is the atp aur atp ki wajah se hi cell jo hai wo survive kar raha hai apna sare functions perform kar raha hai so jitni zyada surface area hoga utna zyada inner membrane ko apna function karne ke liye uski jo capacity hai that would be enhanced so the the purpose of the folding is to increase surface area of inner membrane of mitochondria so uh, it is not like really simple yeah, that it is just the fold it is actually the folds of inner membrane so jitne zyada ye folds hain presence of cristi in ka number uh, it is determining uh, the performance of mitochondria and uh, these cristi or the folds they are studded with um, with with some certain um, uh, knob like structures or a club like structures which are called as f1 particles and these f1 particles they perform in function of mitochondria 